Pow wow yo yippee yo yippee yay guys pile number 35 and today we're at the excited venue in Evian with all the Swissport family team here to answer most of your questions. We're gonna have a lot of different people that are gonna present a lot of good great stuff and I want to thank all of you guys for taking the time to do your meritocratic work and to make sure that our system is always growing on a daily basis. As you guys know, my name is Cyrus Fazel, I'm the proud founder and CEO of Swissborg, always here to serve you. All right guys, so a question that you may be asking yourself is, what is the vision for Swissborg in the long term? And as Cyrus was talking about earlier, and through many, many discussions and brainstorming sessions, that question always surfaces, right? Because when you see all the other competitor exchanges or competitor apps, you know, raising 200, 300, 500 million dollars, how could Swissborg stay competitive? And there's a very famous book, which is called The Blue Ocean Strategy, where you have what we call a red ocean. And the red ocean is typically when everyone's competing with a similar product and trying to get as much market share as possible. And then the blue ocean on the other side is someone who's created their own market, who's created something different so that they don't have all this competition to bear with. And Swissborg, as it's always been since the early days, it's always trying to make you know, crypto wealth management fun, fair, and community-centric. And right now, yes, it's addictive, you like to look at your wallet, but is it really, really fun to the point where anyone would want to join uh, our, our community? So that's one of the key questions, and how could we make it more fun and actually make people want to do it intrinsically on a daily basis? And the Blue Ocean strategy, the concept that we thought about Swissborg was similar to the Cirque du Soleil. Have you guys heard of the Cirque du Soleil? You know, it's that circus that suddenly out of the blue became the biggest and the biggest performing arts theater in the world. And they understood something really cool. They understood that the circus world was very niche and very limited to a certain amount of people, but they wanted to bring other people, people who would go and watch theater, who would go watch ballet, jazz, concerts, classical concerts, even singing. And they brought some of the elements from the theater world. So they had the circus, but they also brought the theater world into one. And that created its own blue ocean strategy where people can go and enjoy music, they can enjoy dance, themes, a beautiful theater, not the circus with you know, the wooden chairs that would hurt your bum after a few minutes. So they really created their own blue ocean strategy. And, and so during the Swissport retreat, like one of, this was the main kind of brainstorming topics is how can we create our blue ocean strategy or maybe our green, emerald green ocean strategy. And really, this fun part is something that we could still enjoy a lot more in gamification, bringing the gaming world, which is you know, one of the fastest growing spaces in the world, and taking wealth management and gaming and putting them together, and then creating some sort of platform where people can actually enjoy, can actually be educated, have their goals, have their identity. Cyrus always talks about personalizing wealth management through building your own identity, understanding your risk appetite, et cetera, et cetera that would be something that would be more geared towards crypto wealth management and, and is very niche in the sense where other companies don't focus so much on gamifying crypto wealth management. And for those reasons, if we can create wealth management and bring gamifying and bring all the aspects of fun, personalization, but also having that community-centric approach, we believe that we can create our green ocean strategy. So are we working to improve the fairness of the, of the current leaderboard of the crypto challenge game? Yes, with the tech team, we are currently investigating different options to continue to make this game fair for everyone. Whether you're playing with your friends or alone, we want to have you have the best experience possible with the application. So we are working on solutions to separate the leaderboards, but also to keep uh, rewarding the people that refer a lot of their friends in the application. Good. So guys, why Yield has been going down since a few weeks now? So the there is multiple, multiple reasons why you can see that the yield has gone down. The first reason is there was a normalization. I think we, we explained that in the past. Most of the projects have normalized. The DeFi space is normalizing. And we see less and less yield as a result into all the platforms. The second reason why is as well, since we're doing wealth management, the first criteria we have always is to protect the asset of our user. And what we see right now is the biggest yield are we farm that do not show sufficient risk insurance in, the say, in, in, in that sense. So they are not safe enough that the program can allocate into this uh, platform. 
So this is essentially linked to, first of all, the normalization of the device space. And second, second of all, it's we just want to protect your asset. But stay tuned, guys, because right now we are working on a new set of innovation when it's called to yield and passive income that will allow you to get access to more efficient yield going forward. And we are that in the lab. I'm not going to commit to date, but it's going to happen soon, hopefully. Hello. So uh, the reason why we don't have that strong liquidity right now on Bitfinex is basically because we have not yet integrated uh, our OMS inside Bitfinex. Now, I know that's a lot of technical uh, terms, so let me simplify this for you. Um, so in order to get listed into an exchange, we have to do uh, we had to do some steps before that and the steps were first uh, we had to uh, get a professional market maker so somebody who will uh, take care of have providing that big liquidity behind our token in Bitfinex specifically and secondly as you may know guys we have uh, to comply with some other uh, financial metrics that we uh, that we have to do it uh, and that was not really a problem now swissborg token is a utility token so that means that uh, basically it has a mean is a mean towards an end as you may know uh, you go to the app you buy it and with that you can do you can have uh, better returns and you can basically do things so the speculation behind uh, chsb is not uh, super high we do most of the volume once we have so in order to to, to create this volume we have to in connect we have to integrate uh, bitfinex with our app so that whenever any of you go there and click and buy hopefully soon if you have not done it uh, our token those this order is routed towards bitfinex and on other exchange we are today creating almost 80 percent through our app uh, the current volume uh, in all exchanges uh, so as soon as we will be able to integrate uh, our app so our OMS uh, our order management system with uh, Bitfinex we will be able to see a very a very strong increase in volume in volume there um, and no problem like we we're gonna do it we have actually almost <laughs> done it it's gonna be happening in some weeks don't want to spoil too much uh, but yeah so everything is going according to plan there is no reason to no reason to worry about that uh, it's all it's all going to be fine. So I think it's many different things. So you know, world is, is uh, full of unexpected events and uh, we are trying to cope with them as best as we can. But sometimes we need to adapt the plans to accommodate what's coming ahead of us. Uh, I think what is really important is that each time that we face an event that was unexpected and that brought some learning to the team, we make sure that we incorporate that learning to the team and then we don't make the same mistakes again in the future. And then hopefully it leads to better predictability in the future. Crypto space and the DeFi space is moving at incredible pace and we always want to take the advantage of the features that are being developed there. That is why sometimes our own BAMP changes and sometimes we commit on the dates and the dates get delayed because we found something new. We try to bring new feature with better UX that was not introduced yet to our users. And we believe that we shouldn't commit on the exact dates. Rather, we should create a near term, near term future, long term future and mid term future plan. And this is also what we can see in the Silicon Valley. The startups are not committing on dates anymore. Rather, they are committing on the features they want to develop in the future. So. The future is bright, my friends. <laughs> I joined SwissBorg in 2019, working for the business development team, managing Kryptonite TV, our main edutainment channel. I think during the course of the pandemic, I've had a lot of introspection into the world of work, employee happiness, culture at work, and wellness. At SwissBorg, we really care about the wellness and well-being of our employees. 
And I think at this stage, it's very important to listen to one another, communicate and find tools that will uplift uh, the well-being of our employees every single day. Today, I'm very happy to announce that I will be joining the, joining the people and operations team, working closely on onboarding, employee happiness, and also finding ways on the long run to put in place systems for employee happiness and well-being. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. As you know, Swissborg's been very focused on its products and its community centricity, its people. Uh, we're now spending a lot of time thinking about the future and thinking about how to get greener, get more environmentally uh, friendly for our community, for ourselves. We're starting to work with different partners to uh, explore how we can measure our footprint, our carbon footprint. Uh, as you guys know, there, there's a lot of talk around the, the, the crypto community and how we consume energy across blockchain transactions and so forth. So for CHSB and for the wider community of tokens that we use, we need to get better at measuring what that all means, how we can offset that and start leading this space and become a crypto green friendly uh, community as well. There's plenty of thoughts, plenty of momentum, great ideas coming through the Swissborg projects, which we're starting to map out, spec out. I can't give away timelines, but watch this space. So community, you are very interested about what is going to be the future of Swissborg and what do we see as a future for the company, for the blockchain ecosystem, and maybe for the humanity as well. And of course, it's a very complex question. It's a very complex question because the very notion of money is reinvented every day, right? We don't know if dollar will exist in five years or 10 years from now. We don't know how nation will evolve as a result. And what we see for with ForThinker is even themselves, they fail to agree on what's gonna be the future for humanity. When you look at, for example, Mark Zuckerberg is obsessed with metaverse so kind of matrix reality where everyone is going to live into a virtual world. And we do, do see already that happening in some blockchain project. It's a very early stage of this type of reality. And that's why we see NFTs and we see massive amount of capital going into this reality because yes, some people are more happy with living into the virtual reality and why not? So this is something for wealth as well that will change completely the definition of wealth. If Tomorrow we live in the metaverse, then there is more value in possessing a villa into a virtual reality than possessing a villa in the physical world. And this is something extremely new. We are very passionate about this topic at Swissborg and we explore these things. We see as well other forward thinkers such as Jeff Bezos that now is working on this special capsule that will allow humanity to escape from Earth if we you know, keep going with the, the, the way we are treating Mother Earth and, and destroying the environment and we have to escape the uh, world at some point. So this, is, will, this will change as well uh, uh, humanity forever and the notion of wealth, most probably money will be reinvented, how we will select the colony that will go to this special capsule. That's, you know, a bunch of topics that are very, very interesting to explore. And you have other uh, forward thinkers as well, like Elon Musk, that are thinking of colonizing other planets, starting with Mars, maybe other planets as well. And again, this is changing the notion of wealth. So this is at the center of our forward thinking discussion. This is not for now, but of course, we, we do see a large fund of possibility for the future from virtual reality, where we are, we are going to be encapsulated into the matrix. Maybe we are already, who knows? Um, to the point where we have to travel and colonize other uh, uh, planets just in order to survive. And at Swissborg as a community, um, since our obsession is to create experience that are empowering and fun, that people can discover the notion of wealth, we need to take into consideration all these factors. So it is one of the future we, we envision as well for our communities. How can we merge and can we encapsulate and, and, and keep uh, uh, distributing through every experience that we are doing the new notion of wealth. Ten years ago, it was impossible to think that your talent in, on a video uh, can earn you money. And now we've seen more and more YouTubers 
And the same goes on with many, many other things in the, in the world right now. We see NFTs, we see a bunch of innovation. That's new wealth. And that's our mission to design experiences that are fun and enjoyable and more importantly, empowering that will help anyone in the community to discover this new wealth and discover more about the notion and definition of wealth. So that's the future for SwissBorg, very excited. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this moment. I mean, really, I think so. A lot of people always ask me, Cyrus, you know, you're a millionaire. I'm, I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not a millionaire because I'm not helping a million people. And what I really want is to be a billionaire. A billionaire helping a billion people to get access to best service and wealth management. And I think so that's first by understanding what you guys are and what you guys want. And then building this in the most beautiful way, in the most fair way, and the most fun way as well. And last but not least, the most community-centric way. And I think so that's how Swissborg is going to build a new crypto wealth management era forever. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this one. This was a special one right out of Vivian. Looking forward to welcome many of you guys on Saturday for the Swissborg National Council happening in Lausanne. If not, we'll talk to you soon. Guys, be happy, be healthy, and love our CHSB. Take care. Bye.